let's consider the following situation. Suppose that we're, we need to borrow $350,000 for a home. Uh, we qualify for an interest rate of 6.78% on a 30-year loan. What we're gonna be looking at in this video is, let's suppose that after eight years, you have to sell your house. Maybe you need to move for work or you need a larger place, just got married or had children or something like that. Um, but you aren't gonna stay for the full 30 years. So my question is, how much do you still owe on the loan? Okay, so we wanna pay this off early. All right, well, let's do some math. The first thing that you're going to need to do as in order to calculate these is you need to find the monthly payment for the full length of the loan. And we can do that using our loan formula. And remember that's A equals D, where D is our monthly payment that we're looking for, times one minus one plus R over N to the negative NT, all divided by R over N. All right, so in this case, we're gonna have a $350,000 loan. So that's my A value. I'm looking for D, the monthly payment, and I can use this other information to fill in my formula. I have one minus one plus my rate of 6.78% in decimal form is gonna be 0 0.0678. I'm gonna divide that by 12 because I'm dealing with monthly payments. The um, loan formula has a negative exponent, so make sure you've got that in there. We're dealing with every month and for 30 years because we're doing a 30 year loan. Divide that whole thing by 0 0.0678 over 12. And we'll be able to calculate what that monthly payment is. Again, D is not by itself yet. So the first thing we wanna do is simplify everything there on the right side of the equation so that we can get a simpler equation problem to work on. All right, we'll pull out our calculator here and let's see what we get. So we're gonna do one minus parentheses one plus 0 0.0678 divided by 12. Close that set of parentheses off. And then we want an exponent of negative 12 times 30. Again, make sure that exponent is all, or both the 12 and the times 30 are all in the exponent. Close the parentheses and divide the whole thing by this 0 0.0678 over 12. Okay, so in this case, I have, I'm have i able to simplify everything here on the right side of the equation down to 153.71. And if I divide by that on each side, I'll find my monthly payment for the 30 years. So I'm gonna do 350,000 divided by that last answer and I get a monthly payment of $2,277.08. So this is what I'm paying every month on my loan. Now, after eight years, I want to sell my house off. So what I need to do is figure out how much is remaining on the loan. The way that we're gonna do this is a, a, a little bit kind of backwards. And that is we're going to use our loan formula This time we already know the monthly payment that we so use the monthly payment that we just calculated. Cuz that's how much we'll have been paying every month for those 8 years. And then our our loan information is the same, so we're gonna be using the same R and N values. But this time for our time, 
If we wanna pay something off early, what we need to do is we need to change our time to the number of years remaining unpaid on the loan. So basically we're figuring out what A is if we were to continue to make that same sized payments for everything that's left on the loan and that'll get us, get, that'll get us our payout amount. So in this case, we had a 30 year loan. We are paying it back after eight years. And so essentially what we're doing is we are um, leaving the loan 22 years early. And that's how much is remaining on the loan. All right, so we're gonna go back to our loan formula here. This time we're gonna be looking for A, the amount of the loan or the amount left on the loan technically here. We're gonna use the monthly payment that we've been using. So that $2,277.08 times one minus one plus, I'm still dealing with the 6.78% on a 30 year loan and month, monthly payments. So this is gonna be 0 0.0678 over 12 to the negative 12 times, but this time, instead of the time being 30 years, we wanna figure out what the amount is when there's 22 years remaining. So again, this is time remaining on the loan. Close that parentheses out and divide the whole thing by that 0 0.0678 over 12. All right. This is the A is by itself. So all I have to do is plug all this information into Desmos on my calculator and figure out what is the value remaining. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we're gonna start with 2277.08. We're gonna times that by one minus parentheses one plus 0 0.0678 over 12. Close the parentheses, take it to the negative 12 times 22 years remaining, and then bring that parentheses down to the main level. And then we wanna divide the whole expression here by 0 0.0678, oh, it needs to be in parentheses. 0 0.0, oh, there we go, 0 0.0678 divided by 12. Close the parentheses and I'll have my answer here. So after eight years, I'm gonna owe $311,000 or 311,956 dollars and 36 cents. So if I want to sell the house, I need to come up with this much money to finish paying off the loan with the bank. Um, keep in mind, we started with borrowing $350,000 and almost a third of the way through the loan, we've only paid off about $40,000. This is a really good illustration of how we end up paying a lot. Of the bulk of the interest is, um, is up front in our payments. And then as we go closer and closer to the end of the loan, more of our money is going towards paying down the loan instead of the interest payments because the balance is lower. Um, so quick summary. If you want to pay off a loan early, make sure that you know what your regular payment is for the full amount of the loan. And then we're going to go back and use the loan formula with that monthly payment. Same loan information, but the T is now going to be the time remaining on the loan that you haven't paid off yet. And then we can do our calculation for A from there.